Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. It's mm -hmm. Friday. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Yes. And it's also the end of yet another really hectic week for our matric learners all across the country. Now, today, learners will be writing Agricultural Science, Paper 1, and Nautical Science, Paper 2, alongside Dramatic Arts in the afternoon. And I have a question for you, no, Teresa, I darling. Have a question no, 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 no. For you, no, no, no. little lady. Okay, ask me. <laughs> If there's one person I really have faith in when it comes yeah. to uh, these sort of things and just in this building altogether, it's okay. you because I think you're like the smartest girl. What? But Thank listen you. to this oh, question. Okay. okay. What is epic theatre? Oh, wow. Epic theatre. Yeah. Theatre that is epic. Okay, no. Um, <laughs> I, isn't it, isn't it, uh, isn't it a dramatic piece that just helps the audience escape? No. I don't know. No. Okay, no? well, it's definitely not. The answer is... It takes you on a journey of escapism? Every theatre should do that, hopefully. Okay, but, but this uh, one does epic it in an theater, epic way. Yeah, and well, epic theatre is actually not that. It's uh, in the early 20th century <laughs> theatrical movement that encouraged uh, audience to think introspectively um, about particular moments that are occurring on stage and why they are happening that way. So people are watching, but they also have to introspect at the same time about why things are happening in the way that they are unfolding on the stage. Sounds like it's and that is epic. to me. <laughs> um, no. Anyways, congratulations for uh, getting this far, our matriculants. Just mm. continue to stay calm. Just continue to take it in your stride. You're almost at the finish line. And like I always say, if we could make it, you can make it too. That's right.